guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you this slightly modern twist on a Diwali look. Last year I made a more traditional look using red and gold. Now I'm switching up the red for burnt orange and I really like it. I've been into orange eyeshadows lately and I know it's been a hot minute since I've last uploaded a video. It has been a solid three months and that is because I started working an office job and I'm still trying to get the hang of it so please please stay with me on this channel I swear I'll be uploading more if you want to see how I achieved this look then please keep on watching okay so I already have my foundation and my eyebrows on so let's go ahead and start with the eyes as usual for my transition shade I will be using Buck this one Buck from the OG Naked One palette I don't care what anyone else says, this is the best transition shade ever. So I'm just going to sweep that in onto my eyelids back and forth. Moving on to my next eyeshadow shade, I will be taking the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place and I am going to use the shade Jamila for my crease area. Okay, so next I will be using a brighter eyeshadow shade and for that I will be using this eyeshadow quad from uh, 3 Concept Eyes. It is a Korean brand and these are very vibrant and pigmented and I am completely obsessed with this. I'm also going to place that on half of my eyelids. And then I'm going to take a clean br no, no, it's not clean. And then next I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush just to smoke that out. And then next, still using the same palette, I will be taking this deep red shade with a flat brush and I'm just going to concentrate that on my outer V just to, just to darken it up a bit as well as to add more depth to the eyes. And then I'm going to flip my brush and use the fluffy side to blend out the harsh edges. Okay, so I want to deepen this look up a bit. So I'm taking my bronzer, this darker shade, and I'm just going to load that up on my flat brush, tap off the excess a bit, and then deepen the crease area. So I will also be using that um, deep red shade for my lower lash line. So I'm just taking my MAC Fix Plus and spritzing that onto my flat brush. 
dipping onto that. And I'm going to dip into that red shade and just use that for half of my lower lash line. finish off the eyes, I will be taking my favorite gold eyeshadow of all time, Naked, or I mean Half Baked by Urban Decay. And then I will be using again my MAC Fix Plus and a flat brush to give that, to give it a foiled effect. So for the eyeliner, I want nothing more but a... No. <laughs> I'm going for it. Okay, so next I'm going to line my eyes using my liquid liner. Okay, so next I'll be lining my waterline and this is the MAC gel liner in the shade Black Trap. Next, I will be putting on some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so as I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll be taking my bronzer and I'm just going to contour my face. And then I will be taking a smaller brush to contour my nose. For blush, I will be using this burnt orange blush. Highlight, I'll be taking my Carly palette from BH Cosmetics and I will be using this gold highlighter from it. This one. And put that on the high points of my cheeks. Then what I like to do is take a generous amount of my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, spritz that all over my face, and then tap it in with a beauty blender that ensures that all of the product blend in and toge blend in together and they look like skin.
And while that's still damp, I will be taking another highlighter shade, a bronze one, and this is the Detailed Makeover Baked Highlighter in the shade Caramel Glaze, one of my favorites. And I'm going over that highlight once again. Because that's Diwali and you have to glow. <laughs> Okay, so now that everything is done and my eyelashes are dry, I will be taking a pair of falsies from Miniso and I will be putting that on so I will see you guys in a bit. Lastly, for the lips, I will be mixing two shades together. I am using Hot Summer from EB Advance. It is a matte orange lipstick and and Victoria from Makeup World and this one is a matte red 